Well, hi guys. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos of art that I do. And right now I am working on some art for Mermaid. And if you're not familiar, Mermaid is a month-long challenge in May where you draw mermaid every day for the month of May. But there's not real, you know, strict rules. You can do as many mermaids as you want. You can, you know, just do like one a week or one every other day or so that it's not like a real like, set rules, but I decided to do one every day for the month of May. And since the rules aren't really set in stone, I went ahead and decided to do my own prompt list for the month of May. That way it would help me stay motivated to be able to finish the challenge for the month. Um, I did decide to do every day and I'm also going to try to convert these over to coloring book style once I'm all done and um, see how that works out because I've never done that before and I'm going to try and do it digitally so that'll be a another challenge for me but hopefully it won't take as long as actually doing watercolor pieces because those ended up taking a lot longer than I thought they would. So definitely choosing to do my own prompt list was um, a good idea for me to make sure that I completed the challenge. And I do want to shout out Harriet at my Fan Winnie studio. She is also following along with my prompt list and she does a lot of watercolor art and pencil colors and um, she does like very fancy and not fan but fantasy fantasy but they're fancy too um fantasy fantasy style art and she does some really cute art and she's done some really cute mermaids so far so if you want to go check out what she's doing for mermaid all of her information will be linked in the description part of this video and she's also reading um Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid. So she's narrating that with that within the videos. So if that's something that you'd like to hear, that's pretty cool too. And also, Tremors Art is another artist here on YouTube and also on Instagram that I follow and she is also participating in Mermaid or in my prompt list for Mermaid. And she is doing digital art for Mermaid, but she also does some traditional art I have seen on her Instagram page. So yeah, if you like digital art and you want to check out the cool mermaids she's doing, her information will also be linked down in the description part of this video. And I can't believe that we are already pretty much through with mermaid. We have eight more days left to do and or I have eight more days left to do. And um, yeah, so after tomorrow we'll be down to a week and then it'll be over and I can honestly say I, I've I've um, definitely feeling the burn of mermaid. <laughs> Don't get me wrong I'm having a great time doing the mermaids. I love mermaids so it's been a lot of fun but the watercolor definitely taken a lot longer than I thought it would and doing the videos also I live on a main road, so it's kind of hard to get quiet time sometimes. Um, so I used to go to the preserve that I would hike at, and I like to do my audio out there because it's always really quiet out there, except for maybe the wildlife. But they have that still kind of blocked off from being able to be used. Like they don't, you can't sit at the picnic tables, and you can go out and you can hike around on the hiking trails, but. They don't really want you to like hang out anywhere. So I haven't been going up there and not that I've really had much time to go up there too because then I'd have to leave the house and that takes time. And I'm barely squeezing these into the day. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not even getting the videos up on the same day, but at least I'm really trying to get the art done. But anyway, as much fun as I'm having doing these, I really am looking forward to the end of the month of May. That way I can kind of maybe take a break for at least, you know, a day, not do any painting. <laughs> maybe just put the watercolors away for a day or, or maybe just use some markers. I really miss my markers. <laughs> I 
I, I agree with you, Tremors. I miss my markers, too. And I'll tell you something else that I forgot about that when I did Inktober was something that was kind of like a little bit of an annoyance to me. I mean, it's not a terrible annoyance, but it, it's just kind of a little annoying is using an actual um, sketchbook to do paintings because you have that open book instead of just a piece of paper on the on the thing so you've got this whole extra stuff that's in your way on the left side so I forgot about that like I forgot about how and it's like my other sketchbook it folds around so like the paper goes opens all the way and you can put the back against the front or the front against the back whichever way but this one you can't fold it over unless you want to destroy the book I guess which it would probably do it would probably destroy the book to do it that way so you got this extra bit of stuff just hanging off on the left side and if you try to turn the book like so that I can see it from a different angle then I got this extra stuff in my way and it's a hard cover book so at least the Inktober book was like a soft cover book so you can kind of like just move it out of the way a little bit. This one's a hardcover book, so there's not really much you can do with it. It's just kind of in the way. <laughs> so, I mean, all in all, for that to be really the only complaint I have about the book, and other than that, the book's been great. I love the book. <laughs> but after 23 days of trying to move that one piece out of the way, it's just a little annoying. But I will say it didn't really start getting to annoying until about day 20, I think. I think day 20 was when I was finally like, you know what? You are in my way. You need to get out of my way. Why are you in my way? But that just could be for many other reasons <laughs> why I was upset with that for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Should we just talk through the cars? Because the cars, they just don't want to seem to stop tonight and... I just, you know, I've been out here for already a half an hour trying to do audio for an eight minute video. <laughs> and the cars just don't stop going by. They just keep going by. So we're going to take this as a little test and see if we can hear that very good. How bad it was. Was it really bad? Was it terrible? <laughs> Does it just sound bad on my end? Well, I'll say it doesn't sound great, but they just keep going. <laughs> they won't stop. It's, it's a midnight, but it is a holiday weekend, so I guess that could be a very good reason why everybody is running around at midnight. It, you know, they're partying probably, or coming from a party, going to a party, who knows. <laughs> I had almost forgotten about that. Well, I hope you all have a great holiday weekend, and a great weekend, and I want to give a big thanks to all of my subscribers. You guys are so awesome. And I appreciate your support. And I'm sorry I haven't been very active in my comments and stuff. But once May's over, I will definitely get back at that and be better at that. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I hope you have a good evening and a great weekend. And I will talk to you in tomorrow's video. Alrighty. Love you guys. Bye. Put a finger down. Traditional artist edition. Put a finger down if you have over five unfinished pieces. Put a finger down if you have ever drank paint water. Put a finger down if someone has asked, did you draw that? Put a finger down if your pencil has ever broke and then you had a midlife crisis. Put a finger down if you have ever cried over your art. Put a finger down if you're insecure about selling your art. Put it down if someone has asked, is that you? Put a finger down if you think you've reached your peak as an artist and you're only going downhill. Put a finger down if watercolors have made you question your life existence. Put a finger down if you've ever spent $100 or more on art supplies. Put a finger down if you started drawing with anime characters. Put a finger down if you still can't find your style. Put a finger down if you feel personally harassed by how to draw YouTube videos. Put a finger down if you've heard someone say to you, I can't even draw a stick figure. Put a finger down if you love being an artist.